Hello everyone, welcome to First Code Academy. Today we'll be making a project called Talk to Me with the use of App Inventor. In this project, you will be learning how to create an application that speaks out a message that you type in using the text box component in App Inventor. And additionally, we will also learn how to make our program say a message that is stop shaking me when we start shaking our phone. And once we're at the home page, we can begin on clicking create apps. So once we're at this page, what we can do is we can click on start a project. Then we can type in our project name. So our project name is called talk to me. And then we press enter. It will start building up the screen and the other components. So as that is done, this is what our mobile screen will look like. Here are the palette items that we can use. And these is where the components shall be. We can begin by adding a background color for our application. So we click on our screen one and we scroll down and you will see a item that says background color. Under it, it says default. So we can click on this and you can change it to any color that you like. I'm gonna pick the yellow color. So I'm gonna scroll my mouse down, click on yellow. And then the background color changes to yellow here. The next thing we'd like to add is we'd like to add a button. So we can scroll to this, take our button, and just drag it here. And we want to remove the text that is inside. So we scroll down, and as we see, we can click on the button. And here we remove this text of text for button one. We can press on backspace and press enter. The next thing we want to add in is a label. Now, a label is known as an area where you can add some text. So we can take out the label and put that here. So the text for label one has some text inside, but we don't want it to keep that same text. We want to change it. So we want to highlight this, backspace, enter, and we want to change this to click me to talk. Then exclamation marks, you can add that there. You can change this text to anything you like. You can change it to click button to talk. I just changed it to click me to talk and me is referring to this button. You can also change the color of this text. You can even change the font size of this text. So I can change this font size here to maybe 25. And then if I like, I can make it bolded. I can even make it italic. And you can give the text a background color, or you can change the text color here. So say I want red, I can change it to red. And then we have these two things. And if we want to bring them to the middle, you can click on screen. And then here, the align horizontal, you can make it centered. And this brings the two items in the middle. Next, we want to add an image. So we actually have a link with an image over here that says talk to me. And to download this image, we can click on this download button here, and then it shall download the image to our computer. The next thing we can do is head back to our MIT App Inventor and we click back on our button and we scroll down to our image over here. So this is where you can pick an image either from your computer or you take one from the internet, save it to your computer and then upload it. So you can click upload file, click on choose file. And then here we click on our, and then here we click on the App Inventor click open and then we click OK. So here we have a button with an image inside. So the next thing that we want to add is we want to add something that will allow our program to speak and use our phone to speak. We're going to be taking out the text to speech component. So when you scroll here, you will see media, and then you will scroll to this and you take out text to speech. And what this does is it will convert anything you put in text to speech. And then we can add in a text box. So we click on user interface. As we scroll down here, you should find a text box and you can put that over here. So you can add this here. So you can type in any text you like here. And then when you press the button, it'll say it. And we have a text to speech component. So the next part is we scroll down to sensors and take out accelerometer 
sensor and we put that here. This is going to help us to send feedback from our phone and let it know to the program that our phone is being shook. So to do this now, we have done with the design part. We're now going to start with the coding section. So we click on blocks here. And what we can do is when we click on button one, we can take this out. And then we can have your text box, right? So what we want to do next is you can see here that we have something called text box one dot text. So we can take this out. And then when we click on the button, we want it to say something from our text box. So we can scroll here and you will see a call text to text speech one. Grab this, put that here, and then take in the text box one dot text and put this here. So what that is going to do is then when we click our button, it's going to speak out whatever we put inside the text box. And then the next thing we can add is that when we shake our phone, so we click on accelerometer one, and then we take out accelerometer sensor one dot shaking. Mm -hmm. Once we take this out, this would mean that we're shaking our phone. According to that event, we want our app to say, stop shaking me. So we once again click on the text to speech and we take this out and we put it inside here. And the message is going to be stop shaking me. So we click on text, we take this out, and we put this here. And we're going to change this to stop shaking me. And once we're done with that, we have our two code blocks. So button one, when we click it, our app will send a message telling the phone that, oh, you need to speak inside what is inside the text box one. And the text box one is whatever text we've put inside. Then we have another piece of code here that says when accelerometer one shaking. So this is a sensor which can detect that our phone is shaking and it will send feedback to our app. And then our app will understand that, okay, someone is shaking the phone. Then the text to speech will say this, say this message of stop shaking me. So this is our app. We're not going to look at how does it look on the phone and how does it function? So first you'd need an Android phone and look like this and you would need the mi2 app on your phone as well there are two ways to get our application we can click on build and select the app provide qr code to download the application on our phone if we do not want to do that we can use the different way of connecting it to our phone by clicking connect and then ai companion once you click on that you'll see a qr code pop up on your phone you have an option that says scan qr code so you can click on it, like this, and then it will show you this. So you can scan your app here, and then it will slowly load it on your phone. As you see, there's a loading bar here, and then it should pop up on your phone over here. So here is my app. So I'm going to type in something. I'm going to write in first code academy. Okay. Then click on done. Then I'm going to press first code academy. So once I click on the button here, first code academy. it will say whatever I put inside the text box. So instead, if I want to say my name, so I'll, I'll add in my name. So my name is Siddharth. And then I can click Siddharth. there. So you can hear it once I click it. Siddharth. It says my name. And then once you shake the phone, stop, 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 stop shaking me. Stop, stop shaking me. Stop, stop so every time me. you shake it, it says stop shaking me. So this is how our stop application works. So I hope you had fun making the app. Thank you very much for joining us and watching this video. Please like, please share this video with your family and friends. And also subscribe to our channel as we'll have more videos coming out very soon.